At last, we are on our way to Auckland. I can hardly believe it. But first we have to, well, we have to go to Hong Kong and change flights. And I don't think we're gonna get any sleep over the next 36 hours or so. We're at Heathrow Terminal 5 and we got here a little bit early because it's a Friday night. And while we're filming this, it's actually during the September heat wave. So, so it is so pretty it stifling. It's sweltering here. Um, however, it is even hotter in Hong Kong. I think that the lows was what, 30 degrees, but the feel like temperature was like 39, 40. Something like that. But we are cooling down with some ice drinks from Thank Cafe you. Nero at Heathrow. As I say, we got here a little bit early because of the Friday night traffic. I thought it might have been a bit of a snarl up on the M25, but it was okay. I think it lasted like about 30 minutes or less. So our first flight is due to take off at 8.55. There has been a run of late departures and cancellations as well. So fingers crossed that everything actually goes to plan tonight. And we will also, on the way, give you a little sort of rundown of what the aircraft is like because for the very first time, we are flying on a Boeing 787 Dreamliner and we are flying Premium Economy or World Traveller Plus, I think. Well, I think that that is the way that British Airways classifies it and it's a step up from economy. There is, I think, maybe seven inches more of leg room which will make a difference in the long run because a flight is i think close to 12 hours 12 hours and 40 minutes but we will <sighs> probably be on the aircraft for much longer than that so we will check in with you along the way and well we have to check in first but <laughs> see you on the plane probably So we are going to transit to the sea gates for our flight to Hong Kong. At least it's nice and air conditioned in here. I think the platform's just over there, right? Yeah. I don't think it's that far to be honest. I think one of these planes must be our f flight to Hong Kong. I do believe this might be our flight to Hong Kong, this British Airways plane. Okay, well, I think we have about three minutes before our plane is due to board. Did you get some footage of it, Paul? I'll do that right now. Okay, because it's getting dark. So we are on board a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, row 17, and there was quite a lot of leg room, wasn't there, Paul? Yes, it was nice and comfortable with a lot of seating area and a lot of distance between us and the monitor. 
Yeah, so the seat back monitor uh, was on the seat back, obviously, uh, not one of the ones that pulls out of the uh, um, the side of the chair. So there was a little foot rest as well, which I didn't really use that much. Hence the fact that I pushed it back up again. <laughs> well, tried to. I think I actually had to use my hands to do it. Um, so there's a little table that was there at all times, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, so this was a British Airways plane, and then the table came out from the armrest. That's right. And the good thing about this... It was pretty big, I think. Yeah, it was, it was. It folded out, and you could move it quite far front, which is good because, for me, I have a really big stomach, and um, I needed it <laughs> virtually the whole way up. You were able to move it, like, maybe two inches, maybe? Oh, more than that, you could do about five. So there were USB sockets. And Which we didn't use. You no, know, we didn't use them. The light was above, but there was no air blowing out. Uh, there was general air. This is the blanket, which you did use, didn't you? I used while what, I was... What are you wiping? I was wiping the monitor because I don't know whether it was cleaned or not. So I wiped down all you the wiped surfaces everything. because... I don't want to catch anything. Oh, look, champagne. They brought out champagne or orange juice. So, of course, we had to have the champagne. Why not? A welcome drink, which was very welcome indeed. As you can see, there we yeah, are we enjoying saying, it. Cheers, everyone. So we were in um, World Traveller Plus, which is premium economy, and it's a smaller cabin. I uh, can't remember how many rows there were. Oh, so this was the video um, of the... Life jackets and yeah, everything. And they had to play it twice because it didn't work very well. And then at one point they said, cabin, pr cabin crew even, prepare mm -hmm. for manual demonstration. But they didn't do it. And I think they just abandoned it in the end because I think everybody... Well, we kind of knew the what idea. the idea was. Yeah, um, but it did have several celebrities in it and... Other people that I didn't know, but I assume sports personality. Yeah, I think they are. They were all famous. Um, oh, menu time. Yes. What were the choices? I can't remember now. Can you make that out? The lamb, which oh, I yes. had, and you then had the you had the rigatoni pasta. Did I? I believe so. I didn't have. What was the other option? Was it chicken or something? No, it was just the braised lamb mm. or the pasta. Oh, right. Yeah, maybe I did have that. Well, we'll see in a minute. Oh, I definitely have the gin fizz, and here it is. So it was gin with orange juice and topped up with sparkling water. And the lady actually had to look at the menu <laughs> <laughs> to make it. Um, but it was very welcome. And I had the Tanqueray gin with tonic. Gin and tonic. And I gave you the rest of my gin as well. You made it really, really strong for me. Yeah. Is that yours? This is my lamb dish, braised lamb. Oh, is this mine? Yes, this is yours. It's, so that's not pasta. I had chicken. Did you? Yeah, it was. Sorry. A, yeah, <laughs> was it? A, it was a chicken curry, I think. Oh, and uh, it was quite spicy, but it was really delicious. The bread was good. You got um, crackers as well. And the cutlery. Oh, and the 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 dessert is. Um, Oh, what's Man. it called? No, what's it called? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, and a nice little cup of tea Which I didn't to have. finish things off. Yes, I can see the name of the dessert and uh, I just can't think of what it's called. You had a tea as well. Did Is that I? tea? Well, it looks like I tea. I have no idea. I forgot what oh, I had. It, yeah. certainly, it certainly looks like tea. Yeah, I think it is tea. So let's check out the toilet. Regular soap, water, and we've got tissues. Um, these are what's it called? Hand towels. There's an air freshener. I think it's bog standard. So, this is the amenity kit, and inside the headphones, which you can clearly see. Yeah, and the little baggie. So you brought your headphones out first of all, and they're noise cancelling head uh, headlines on the same. Headphones. Yeah. 
And um, you can't take them with you. They are to stay on the plane. And there's even a note that says you can't use them outside of the, the plane. Uh, so that was the charity envelope that you're holding there. And then you had to like break off the little seal, first of all, right? Yeah, it was kind of like the things that they have like in the stores where you, where they stick the price tag, tag on. Yeah, but you managed to break it off eventually. I just pulled it yep. like this. Yeah. And then you opened up to find out what was inside. So what was there? What's that? Socks? This is the face Oh, mask. the eye mask. Eye mask, yeah. <laughs> And was it comfortable? Because I didn't use mine. I think so. And it did block out the light. And these are the socks. These are the blue socks. Oh, you just said that you didn't bring enough socks with you, so you could use those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do have enough socks, actually. Okay. You obviously don't want to use those then. But they, um, really, they're, they're fine. And I think they're all made from recyclable cotton. Materials, is that right? What else was in there? A toothbrush, which that, you can clearly see. That's that's not a toothbrush, that's a pen. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to go to Specsavers. Yes, and they didn't, well, they didn't provide glasses. That's the toothbrush. <laughs> this is the toothbrush. And it came with a little toothpaste tube as well. Which don't forget to nice. brush all in the back areas. Well, now. don't forget to open it first of all. Of course. And then this was a lip balm. And it was quite good. I used it. Did you use it? I didn't. Oh, right. Well, if you want to use it, use mine because it's open already. And the little um, pouch was quite nice as well. You're obviously very, very pleased with it. It's a nice touch, I think. Yeah. Oh, the blanket. It was quite long, actually. I didn't use mine. It looked like a duvet, actually. That's what I thought. It certainly did keep me warm when I was nodding on and off. I was wearing a t-shirt, but I was so wearing this a was sleeve. So this was the view outside. Oh, and we got ice cream halfway along. I, uh, you Thank were, you for waking me up for this. Well, you, you suddenly, your eyes suddenly opened just when the ice cream arrived. Oh, what's this, the breakfast? This oh, the landing God, breakfast. I'm hungry now. I need my breakfast. So you had the last premium economy breakfast. That was the English breakfast. Oh, yes. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. And a nice coffee as well. And you can see outside. But wait, where's your breakfast then? It's oh. on the, its way. Oh, right. So okay. this is the menu from Premium Economy World Traveler Plus. For the entertainment system. Lots of different options, new releases, things you can see, new this month. Yeah, um, there was one film that I watched. Did you watch it as well? Hypnosis. No, I didn't. Watch and it was um, oh, I've lost I've lost track of who, who was in it. Well, I have lost the plot. Yeah, but it was about this cop whose daughter had been kidnapped, and it was about his quest to find her. But of course, there were lots of twists. Um, ben Affleck was in it. So there's plenty of music for you to listen to as well. Yeah, and I think there was the map as well, which we might show you, I'm not sure. You even went onto the radio. Yes, see. there was lots of selections from the BBC. I don't know why Jamie Cullum actually was a section. Because he in... has like a, a Radio 2 thing. That's yes, what? well this was nothing to do with his oh, radio. Right. No, this was okay. a specially curated thing. But he has his own <laughs> section amongst the, the main menu. For jazz purposes. Yeah. More music. So there were albums and playlists as well. And there were also concerts from the BBC, which was quite good. I think there was... A, I listened to part of the Pet Shop Boys one. And they had um, everyone you could think of. Adele was there, I'm sure. And Is that when? The Rolling George Stones. Michael. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Um, lots and lots of stuff. What's next? Oh, uh, under watch. That, so that was movies and TV. And you can make your own playlist as well. So there was lots of stuff to do. How very Paramount. Innovative. Paramount. We didn't even look at that. Paramount TV stuff. 
lots of lots of different things to keep you amused throughout a long 12 hour flight. HBO Max, what's that? BBC Sounds, is that? Isn't that the BBC iPlayer? Yeah. And what's this, back at movies or something? Again? This is back at the movies. Oh, right. Okay. Nice selection of stuff. Want to see more of our show? It's Paul and Marcus. Hit the subscribe button to get all the latest news and content.
Welcome to Hong Kong. We have endured our first flight. I think we've got a little bit of a dodgy tummy, but it's not stopping us eating and drinking. Cheers, by the way. And where are we? Well, we are in the Premium Plaza Lounge. We've signed up, become members, and we just want to use the shower. Uh, but we get some food, we get some drink. drink. We have about four hours until our next flight, our flight to Auckland takes off. It's on a slight delay, which actually might benefit us a little bit because I- It will give us time to look at the shots. Well, yes, because we've got two hours plus shower at the lounge. And then, oh yes, so it'll give us possibly up to half an hour or something just to look at the shops. That's good. Yeah, but it's been quite a long flight. I didn't sleep. You slept, do you think? I think maybe two hours, three. I did close my eyes, but I I don't sleep on flights and I know that I didn't actually sleep. And you'll have seen the footage and we're doing narration over it. So you'll have seen basically and heard us say um, things about the the flight along the way but what did you think of it generally i think that the food was good they were very attentive and i was even brought out so they ran out of full english breakfast so then for our cabin so so we were in premium economy so then the flight attendant brought out one from economy but then she also gave me the cheese omelette on the house so you got two breakfasts which yeah. is a pretty good deal i would say but it was a bit weird in a way because we were landing at 4 30 in the afternoon yet we were having <laughs> breakfast but what really confused me was it was dark until about an hour before we landed uh, and i thought how is this possible i mean because it's dark now. Be in daylight it feels dark now. Well, they've got on the wind the the windows darkened, so you it looks Glare, as though it's night. Like, no, no, no. Oh, it, so. it, it made it look as though it was nighttime. Oh, so it's like those special glasses. Yeah, because the turn. the colours were changing out at various times along the way. There was a purple, there was a pink, a blue at one time, and then it remained dark, as I say, when it was like three in the afternoon, and then all of a sudden it became light. But it's because of the windows. So it's not some strange phenomenon. We have just come out of the shower and we have about an hour until our flight to Auckland. Uh, there's a slight delay, but that doesn't matter. There's some fantastic artwork here. Look at this. It says, do not climb. But is this a guy with a kite? It's called Raise Me High. And it says, it's by the Ihan Rosanna. And it's one of several artworks. I've spotted another one over there. What do we have here, Marcus? More people with kites. Oh, oh is it? Yeah, one guy got a third. Raise me high two this time. Is that because there's two people there? That would be logical. That's great though, isn't it? Look, I've spied with my monocle. Monocle, and it's a news agent. So oh. let's go and see if I can get any newspapers. Marvelous. newspapers. Oh, wow. Hong Kong now and you got these rather snazzy signs at the departure gate. We're on board. It was an Airbus A350-900 this time. Again, champagne to welcome us on board. Cathay Pacific. That was a nice touch to start our onward journey. Yeah, and we got these hot towels. 
they were really hot and they kind of scorched our hands. Yes, but it's a, a welcome start to get you sort of nicely refreshed. It feels like I just came out of a sauna. Anywhere else we're going? Is there a now we are going to have a look around the cabin. And it was premium economy again. We had the bulk row, um, so we had loads of leg room. There is this spot. What's that? Oh, that's that's the remote, which wasn't very user friendly, and it's still uh, a map. Yeah, but I I just found that the entertainment system was very clunky, awkward. It was very awkward to use, and when you thought you were pressing something that uh, was on screen, it turned out that it wasn't what you thought it was. There was a good selection of stuff though, and we both watched a movie called Everything in Between which I would highly recommend. It was an Australian movie, wasn't it? So that was a plus point. Oh, the amenity kit. So what was inside this one? This is much easier to open. Socks. You have the socks, per usual. Different colour this time. The same colours as Cathay Pacific, obviously. Oh, I see. Right. Mm. Right the eye mask which helps keep out the lights and to help darken the atmosphere toothbrush this time toothpaste and uh oh the earplugs earplugs oh that's is that the toothpaste yeah it came in a separate thing this time and the eye mask with the kathy pacific logo oh the menu looks oh, good the doesn't menu it menu is fantastic there were two meals again, and the first one that we had served was dinner. And what did you get? I can't remember what you got now. Well, we'll see it in a minute. We got the... Oh, this! The char... Was it char siu? This was like the roast pork. Roast pork? Oh, was it? oh it was delicious. Or, or was it roast chicken? Pork. And the Betsy beer. That is a craft yes. beer, especially brewed for Cafe Pacific. Garlic bread and pak choy. I gave you some of mine. And an ice cream as well. Hagen it was all very, very filling. Yes, you had the same thing, didn't you? I did. We are on a rather cramped toilet on the A350 Airbus. Um, let's take a look around. There is some nice hand gel and hand cream. And the hand wash looks quite interesting. But as you can see, there ain't a lot of room in here. Especially if you've got big legs like me. It's breakfast time. We dim sum. Both, we both went for the dim sum with the glutinous rice. And it came with fruits. So this is the dim sum. This is the croissant. You gave me yours as well, which jam, is nice. Coffee. Yogurt and the fresh fruit. Paul, you just said there's champagne in here and there wasn't when oh we left. Oh my god, there's champagne in here. O M G. Team Hotel de Brent. What? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is fabulous.